Hi, Jacqueline from Project Most here. Today we're going to be doing a science experiment that makes sidewalk chalk. I have two different recipes that I've tried out and I'm going to show you how to make both of them. There are pros and cons to each recipe and so you can decide which one you would like to try. The first recipe uses flour and eggshells. The second recipe uses cornstarch. Both of them use water. Here are the materials that you're going to need regardless of either whichever recipe you use. So you're going to need a small bowl to mix it in. You'll also need a spoon or some sort of utensil, a popsicle stick, something to mix it with. You will need something to pour water with. And if you'd like to color your chalk, you need food coloring. If you don't mind white or natural colored chalk, then you don't even need the food coloring. For the flour recipe, like I said, you need flour and eggshells. For the cornstarch recipe, you just need cornstarch and water. So it's that easy. Now, in terms of molding the chalk, I tried uh, toilet paper tubes. I thought I would really like the cylindrical shape, shape of the chalk and it would be easy to draw with. There are pros and cons to the cardboard toilet paper tubes, which I'm going to tell you about. So I started out I had researched the flour recipe. There's a couple different variations online, so I settled on one, and I decided to line my toilet paper tubes with wax paper because it makes the chalk slide out easier at the end instead of sticking. So I got a piece of wax paper a little bit longer than the toilet paper tube. I put it into the toilet paper tube. And on the bottom where it stuck out, I just folded it over and I taped it so that the mixture doesn't ooze out the bottom. You can use this method with the cornstarch or with the flour recipe. Now, it was great because um, it didn't leak out the bottom and when my chalk was dry, I just slid it out. However, the drying time of the flour chalk is supposed to be 12 hours. I waited 12 hours, I waited 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. By the end of the second day, I said, this stuff isn't drying. Some of it was still really liquidy and some of it was like half dry, but it was starting to ferment and bubble and it smelled funny, so I threw that away. The one that looked okay, just needed to dry quicker, I took my little pouch of flour chalk mis mixture out of the tube. I squeezed it out of the wax paper directly into the cardboard tube and I let it dry. The drying time um, went quicker and so it actually dried. However, when I peeled it off, when I peeled the cardboard tube off of the chalk, it left a, uh, a layer of cardboard behind. Not the end of the world, when I'm drawing on the sidewalk or the street, I imagine that the cardboard will just flake off when I'm using it, but that's something to think about. So again, if you line your toilet paper tube with wax paper, it slides out nice and easy, If you, but it takes longer to dry. Um, if you don't line it, it'll probably end up sticking. What I do recommend lining the wax paper for is the cornstarch recipe. That one worked fantastically. So let me show you how they're made. If you decide not to line it with the wax paper, you will still need to cover the end though, otherwise your um, chalk mixture will just ooze out the bottom. So what I did was I took a piece of wax paper of about this big, I covered the bottom of this tube, and then I wrapped masking tape around the bottom so that the liquid doesn't ooze out. So let's do the flour mixture first. It's a two to one flour to water ratio. So two parts flour to one part water. I found that half a cup of flour works perfectly to fill up a toilet paper tube. So I'm going to do half a cup of flour to a quarter cup of water, two to one. And this is kind of an estimated measurement because you're gonna mix it until it looks like good chalk consistency. So I'm pouring my water into my flour and I'm mixing it around. And I need it to be thin enough to pour into the tube 
but thick enough that it's not really liquidy. So this is a little dry. This looks like bread dough. So I'm going to add a little bit more water and only a little bit at a time. And while I add this water, I think I'll also take this opportunity to add my food coloring. Now you don't need to use food coloring. If you don't mind white or natural colored chalk, that's fine. If you want to use food coloring, just use regular food coloring. Four drops is more than enough. One, two, we're gonna do three drops on the yellow. And that'll just mix in as you stir. All right, so I added a little bit more water. I'm stirring it up. And I need to add my eggshells before I complete this recipe. So the recipe calls for one eggshell per each tube. Now, I washed my eggshell, I emptied it, I washed it and I dried it so it's completely dry. It's inside this bag because I need to crush it into a powder. And if you look at this chalk, you might be able to see all those little tiny bits of eggshell in there. I found the easiest way to crush it is using the same glass that I used to pour my water. I put it in a plastic bag and I just crush it down and I just crush it and crush it and I shake it back into a little pile and this takes a while. So I am going to come back after I finish crushing it because I'm just shaking it and rocking the glass back and forth again and again until I get a really fine powder. So I'll be back. So my eggshell is crushed into as fine a powder as I could get it. If you have a mortar and pestle, that would be the best way to do it. But since I don't, the glass in a plastic bag method has to do. So I dump that powdered eggshell into my chalk and I mix it in. And I imagine this makes it a little bit firmer. So it's all mixed in, you can barely see it. You don't want big pieces of eggshell because eggshell is actually sharp. So you don't wanna hurt your fingers while you're drawing with your sidewalk chalk. So this is ready to go into my tube. So I can pour it in. The nice thing about the tubes is that they stand up as well. So I'm just filling up the tube. Now I filled the one that has the wax paper lining. If you aren't lining it with wax paper, you can just fill the one with the cap on the end. Like I said, either way works. There's just pros and cons to both. All right. And you don't need to cover the top. It helps it to dry. If you cover the top, it actually would probably get moldy and disgusting. So I would not cover the top. And it also seems to shrink, so fill it up as much as you can. The good news about this recipe is it's super easy to clean up. It just washes away with water. So that was that. So this is my flour chalk that is ready to dry. Now the cornstarch. The cornstarch, you also need about a half a cup. That's the perfect ratio to fill up a toilet paper tube. So I measured out half a cup of cornstarch. And then the only other thing you need for this one is water, which is nice and easy. And you're going to add the water a small amount at a time. Now, if you've made that slime substance with cornstarch, you'll know that it's a non-Newtonian liquid, meaning it'll look like a liquid until you try to stir it, and then it suddenly firms up like a solid. So it's tricky stuff. So you have to be patient when you stir it, but don't worry, you'll get there. You'll get it all mixed in. So as you can see, I added, at a half a cup of cornstarch, I added probably mm, a little bit less than a quarter cup of water. And it looks like a liquid until I try to stir it and it feels very solid. All right. This one might be a little bit too liquidy, so I'm actually going to add a little bit more of my cornstarch. 
Just a tiny bit though. Only add it in small increments if it's not the consistency you want. Because very quickly it will turn back into one big blob and then you have to add water again. All right. So as you can see where I just added that dry bit, it made this hard lump. So I mix it. I'm going to make this chalk. I think I'll make it red. One, two, three, four. All right. Stir in my food coloring. It's a nice, really nice swirl. Let's see if I can mix that in. Now, don't forget, food coloring stains your fingers. So, be wearing clothes that you don't mind if it gets stained, or be super careful. Put down a mat if you're working on a really nice table. Food coloring definitely does not come out once it stains something. And for this one, I'm actually going to put it in a bowl because the liquid cornstarch mixture is a little bit um, more runny than the flour mixture. So I'm using my unlined toilet paper tube and I will show you this. I'm curious how it comes out because I made one previously this was the lined toilet paper tube, and I'm really happy with the way this came out. So I lined the toilet paper tube with wax paper when I made this cornstarch chalk, and it slid out easily. The wax paper peeled right off, and I can't wait to go outside and use it. So now I'm curious how the cornstarch chalk comes out without a wax paper lining. And let's hope, oh, this one pours even more easily than the flour. All right, let's hope that this one dries quickly and doesn't stick to my toilet paper tube. I'm kind of curious. Okay, also an easy cleanup. It'll rinse right up with water. So here we have our flour chalk, our cornstarch chalk, and we're gonna go outside and test the cornstarch chalk that I already have dried and the flour chalk I already have dried. So we are checking the chalk. We have the flour and eggshell chalk, which was yellow, and we have the cornstarch chalk, which was um, red, but now it's pink. Now I have to say, um, this flour chalk isn't even dry. It's been several days. I put it out in the sun, and it's actually bubbling up on the inside, so I think it's starting to ferment. So I really don't think I'm gonna be able to use it as chalk, but I will tear it open so that you can get a sense of what it looks like. I did do another test of this and the chalk was very, very hard. So this isn't gonna be good sidewalk chalk. The cornstarch chalk is crumbly and it's nice and dry, which is great. I'm gonna peel it open. Dante, come here. <laughs> it's very crumbly. I did a test with this another time too, and it, it wrote, it just um, crumbled into a million little pieces. So I have to say it dries out pretty quickly, so I think these should be used within a couple of days of making. But this one actually came out like chalk, and if you can see, I can write with it. So I think the cornstarch chalk is successful. This dried for about four days. I did not use the wax paper lining on this one. I poured it right into the cardboard and I feel like it was the most successful experiment. If you do this experiment making sidewalk chalk, whether you use the flour and eggshell recipe or the cornstarch recipe or both, please post your results on our Project Most Facebook page. We would love to see what you did.